All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed, they're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open, the other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Let's take a look at problem 96A, a flexible budget. This sort of combines variance analysis with budgeting, so we'll see how we do. Uh, the Greatest Friends is a dog rescue group that specializes in finding homes for great Dane, for, the, for the Great Dane breed, beautiful dogs. The company produces the following cost report for June. The Greatest Friends cost variance report, and there's some number of dogs in care, and then variable costs, fixed costs, and total costs. Now, the thing to know, well, let's just read the, the report. And you can see uh, they had fewer dogs than they were planning to have, and their costs were down from, you know, their budget. Uh, and, you know, 4,200 favorable, they, they spent a lot less than they budgeted to spend. But you would expect that, given that uh, fewer dogs were in care. Valerie Pringle, the manager of the rescue group, comments on the report. I'm certainly proud of this cost report. It shows that I'm not only doing a great job caring for the animals in our care, I'm also keeping costs under control. Okay, we're going to give her some bad news in a minute. Uh, comment on the major flaw of the report above. Well, the big flaw is when we made our budget, we thought we were going to have 10 dogs. We only had four. It doesn't really get at the cost control element because, of course, if you have four dogs, your cost should be lower. Let's, what, what we ought to do is prepare something called a flexible budget, which is after the fact, after the period's over, go back in time and pretend we were going to do a budget before the year, before we knew our actuals, but pretend we we're going to do a budget at four dogs, the actual uh, like level of activity for our company. So uh, let's do it for the greatest friends, and I think we'll, we'll have some revelations. <laughs> the greatest friends. We'll call this a cost variance report. We'll call it a flexible budget cost variance report. And this is for the month ended June 30th. Okay, so what I'd like to do is make a new budget. <laughs> a flexible budget based on four. And I'm going to compare that flexible budget to my actual numbers. So here's what we do. Okay, we say number of dogs in care. And we just basically take down the entire budget and we just redo it at four. Four, so actual was four. There's no variance there. Um, let's go to our variable costs. Grooming. Our grooming cost based on 10 dogs. Now, now here's a place where I just, I ignore the actual until I'm going to write it all down. I just ignore it. Don't you cross it out on your own sheet, but I can do that because I can erase the cross out easily. Uh, grooming cost. It's $2,000 we budgeted for 10 dogs, but if it's truly variable, that means the cost is 2,000 divided by 10, it's $200 per dog. So let's go down here. If we got four dogs, the grooming cost is four times 200. The grooming cost ought to be $800 if we've got just four dogs. Dog food cost. The dog food cost is $10,000 for 10 dogs. Wow, very expensive. Great Danes eat a lot. So that's $1,000 per dog. Now in this scenario, uh, we only have four dogs, so we should only be spending $4,000 on dog food. Cleaning supplies, 
$500 for 10 dogs. That's $50 per dog. Cleaning supplies. Uh, based on four dogs are $200. That was $50 per dog. So our total uh, variable costs, $800 plus $200 plus $4,000 are $5,000. Our fixed costs are going to be fixed. It doesn't matter the number of dogs. So we're just going to treat these as fixed, $1,500 and $400. And again, you know, our salaries won't be affected by the number of dogs in care. And our property taxes, certainly, they don't care how many Great Danes you have in the shelter. They're just going to charge you property tax based on the size of the shelter. So salaries $1,500 and property taxes $400. Now, again, we're ignoring the actual. So I know my salaries were actually higher, but I don't, I don't make any adjustment to, to try to fix that. I just say, okay, before the period, I would have assumed salaries were 1500 and before the period, I would have assumed property taxes were four. So our total fixed costs are 1,900, giving us a total uh, overall costs of 5,000 for variable costs, 1,900 for fixed costs, $6,900. Okay, put dollar signs at the top and dollar signs at the bottom and we're good to go. Now the actuals, we do just take this actual column, letter for letter, 1,300, 6,500, 400. Adding those together, 69, 70, 8,200. Our fixed were 1,600, 400 for a total of 2,000. For a grand total of 10,200. Okay, let's do our variances. So for grooming, we actually spent uh, $1,300. We ought to have only spent $800. This is $500 and it is unfavorable. For dog food, we actually spent $6,500. We ought to have spent $2,500. This is unfavorable. We overspent on cleaning supplies, $400. We should have spent $200 given we only had four dogs in our care. Uh, the total here is $3,200. Unfavorable. Salaries, we spent uh, $100 more than we expected. That's unfavorable. Property taxes were right on expectation. That's neither favorable nor unfavorable. That's just nothing. So overall, we end up 100 unfavorable. The overall favorable versus unfavorable is $3,300, and it's unfavorable. So uh, we've answered part B. It says, prepare a revised report using a flexible budget. This is the flexible budget. You just say, okay, before the year, I prepared a budget, right? This is the budget we prepared before the month right there based on 10 dogs in our care. Afterwards, if we can make an adjustment to the budget, what would our budget have looked like had I known then that we would only have four dogs in care? It would have looked like this. And sadly, that's bad news for Valerie. She didn't keep costs under control. Comment on Pringle's assertion that she is doing a great job keeping costs under control. She's absolutely not doing a great job keeping costs under control. Again, we spent 6,500 on dog food for four dogs. It should only cost a thousand bucks a dog. That seems expensive anyway, but it should only cost a thousand bucks a dog. This is a bad news report for old Valerie Pringle. Too bad. She looked at this report and thought, oh, I'm very favorable. It turns out when you have so many fewer dogs than you were planning, of course you're going to look good. But uh, this flexible budget sort of reveals that maybe she didn't do a good job keeping costs under control. All right, that's it for this video. That's it for problem. 96A. Uh, if this helped you understand flexible budgeting a little better, hit that like button. Have a good day, everybody. Bye for now.